Um, so, Manaf said almost everything, so I don't have anything more to say. <laughs> uh, no, actually, uh, I grew up in Belgium uh, because I, I was born in France. My parents were uh, first generation immigr uh, migrants. Uh, I'm the second generation. I grew up in Belgium uh, where I studied uh, animation, actually. And uh, during the first years of my, my study, I didn't really know what was my path. I didn't really know what I wanted to express about animation. Because, well, when I say the word animation, what's the first name coming into your minds, most of you? Disney, exactly. That's exactly what I won't talk about today because he's just already so famous that well, we don't need to, uh, to make any advertisement. Um, and I want to not even to talk about the other school of animation, like Japanese animation. Well, most of the people here know at least about the American school, Disney, DreamWorks, Fox, uh, all those big studios with millions of dollars of budget. Uh, in the other hand, most people have at least heard about the Japanese animation, who are renowned to be the, 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 the first industry of animation in the world, even more than the Americans. Uh, so both of those schools are already famous enough. So I will just talk about all the other schools, the worldwide schools. Uh, so there are like, actually a lot of short movies that most of the people just don't well, they're not used to see all those, uh, those movies because they don't have millions of dollars of budget. They don't have a big uh, cover in the whole world. Uh, you can see some of them on YouTube, for example, or on Vimeo, most likely. But um, the best way is still to go to festivals, to animation festivals, to see how is animation working like in Argentina, how is animation working in, uh, in France, in Belgium, in, uh, in China, in Taiwan. In, uh, in many, many, many different countries uh, that are not very unex uh, expected. And you can see that it's not just about every country's animation, it's about every director's imagination. Every director has really his own personality, his own graphic universe, his own sensitivity, and uh, his own stories to tell. And it's, well, when I first came across uh, a festival of international short animation, I was like, whoa, what's happening? Uh, because, I, well, I grew up with uh, Disney and with Japanese animation. I thought that was all. And that was absolutely not it. I just got my, my, my ass whipped by uh, all those uh, different striking uh, storytelling experience. Even if it was short, even if it didn't have and a big budget to, to make it. It was just so personal that it was like a little bit opening a, a gate through millions of different uh, universes. And uh, why is the experience, was the experience so strong? It's because animation is combining. It's all about combining. It's combining screenplay, it's con uh, like writing, literature. It's combining drawings, of course, uh, because you have thousands of drawings to, uh, to do for, for making an animation. It's combining photography, because you have to, to play with the light, combining acting, uh, if you want to make all your characters believable. And, um, well, it's also combining about uh, music. So everything is put in just one art, which uh, gives us animation. And I was always a little bit sad to see that the most famous animation were always made like for entertainment. You, you, you see, well, the most famous one, I, I told you, it was Disney, it was uh, DreamWorks, or all, all this. And I love these movies, of course, but they have a very common point. It's uh, their sounds a little bit hollow. They don't really have a lot of, well, they have a lot of message in, in it, but it's more like the American morality school. And, is there any other way? I was wondering, is there possible uh, to do something else to show that animation is not just about entertainment, but also about art? And I, I met, one year ago, I met DJ Code here, uh, who has quite the same purpose than me, uh, to try to combine Chinese traditional art 
with modern art. As I made it for the Chinese painting with the animation, he's, make it, he, he's making it with electronic music and Chinese traditional music. When I met him, it was love at first sight, and uh, we decided to make a kid together.